That was Faith and Diddy all night long. Uh, our prayers are with the families of Cliff Robinson, uh, formerly of the Trailblazers and a few other teams, and uh, Coach John Thompson. I remember specifically everybody wore Georgetown Hoyer starter jackets because of John Thompson. And so, uh, of course, uh, our, our prayers and thoughts are with those families. We also were greeted with the news uh, that we lost Chadwick Bozeman, And it was amazing because he was a mere 43 years old, and from all accounts, he was dealing with a life-threatening illness, illness for four years. And he gave us some of the greatest work of a lifetime in that time. And there was no hint of anything going on. I, I'm particularly sad uh, because uh, uh, when a young life uh, it, uh, is extinguished, uh, so young and with so much potential, it's sad. But it's also sad for what he represented. I remember a couple of years ago when Panther came out, I remember throngs of black people going to see Panther, putting on kufis and daishikis and walking around with, I had to go past a drum solo at, in front of Sabaros to get to Panther, Black Panther. I remember how proud they were. I remember people crying in the movies. And I remember people going, it's just a movie, is it? Is, the, is it just a movie? And I talked then uh, a couple of years ago about how art can change things, about how books and poems and movies can change things. Uh, who, who hasn't? been changed by books they've read. The Bible is a book, and uh, it, it has changed lives. Poems are books. Who hasn't been inspired by Invictus? Who hasn't been inspired by poems that they've read? Uh, paintings can change lives. I think uh, 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 music can change lives. So to watch what happened after Panther, uh, and to watch people's, uh, the way they stuck their chest out, and how proud they were, uh, the way that they uh, believed that they had seen something miraculous, that it inspired something in them, which is really all, all art is supposed to do, and he did it masterfully. So I want to thank him, and if he were here, I would give, I, I wish I'd have that opportunity. He is not, but wherever he is, he knows, like we all know, what he meant to us. It was not just an artistic interpretation. It was a way of telling the world how great we were. Because when you're black, our stories... Uh, tend to start in the middle. They tend to start when we were just slaves. They tend to start about all the bad things about us. I remember watching um, uh, Panther, and I remember a review saying, uh, talking about, uh, the, it was a comic book character that was about an imaginary kingdom in Africa where they led the world in art and science and technology. That isn't a fanciful tale. That isn't a comic book. That is your history. That is really what happened. That is where art came from. That is where science came from. That is where math came from. That is where plumbing came from. That is where open heart surgery came from. They had to put it in a comic book form so that other people would accept it and understand it. But it was a true depiction of where we came from. And he embodied that. Now, in the movie, uh, he wasn't my favorite character. Killmonger was. But his performance, the way that he decided that he would do it with such dignity and grace... He literally uplifted an entire race all across the world. You have people who are leaving this country and starting countries in Africa called <laughs> Wakanda. So I want to say that he is missed, but I want to say he, in that short time, has done so much more than many of us get to. Uh, and so uh, we say goodbye to a true king. Uh, goodbye, Chadwick. Uh, you will be certainly missed. It is... Uh, the D.L. Hughley Show, that little note from the GED section. we got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.